All right, here we are, Glad Rap Channel, the Don Roland Centre in Lake Karapiro. It's the 4th of May, and we are at Iron Fist 6, The Return of the Warrior, proudly brought to you by Nigel Elliott. Joined with you today is myself, Isaac Savage, and the legend, John the Rebel Conway, 168 fights, Australasian welterweight, kickboxing champ, Hong Kong champ, South Pacific trainer, and still... Uh, riffing fights himself welcome aboard john the rebel conway thank you and thanks for having me down here what a night of fights it's been you know we're in the beautiful lake Karapiro. it's looking like vegas or a mini vegas we've got dan hennessy in the ring we've had some stellar fights how have you enjoyed the night so far john? really nice i was down here a few hours earlier in daytime and um the setting here is beautiful large windows big lake outside it's now dark lights have really come into effect good crowd loud crowd it's really nice. Nice sitting. Well done, Nigel. Yeah, we've got a full house here tonight, and it's always good, like I said earlier, with these uh, smaller town events. The, the whole city comes. You know, every every man and his dogs here, they're supporting their boys, their gyms, their fighters. The boys and girls are all here, ready to throw down, as we get ready now for fight number six, Shane Feck there in the red against Simon Watkins there in the blue corner. Big boys once again here, John. Big boys. Yep, yeah, they're getting um, pretty heavy. So heavy boys, heavy punches. Lieutenant Dan Hennessy there calling the shots tonight. Very experienced MC, very well known across New Zealand and the world. They love him in Brisbane. They certainly do. And uh, one of the more synonymous MCs across New Zealand with his famous paper throwing technique that uh, at times John Conway potentially tidies up or throws back at him. Uh, pick up and put it in my pocket. Once again both boys are going to be uh, thrown down. Like you said everybody loves a knockout but it's always good to see these heavyweight guys go to round three. Yeah we've got Nabby's gym versus Nigel's gym. So those two used to train together once. Now they're training their own boys to fight each other. Giving back to the sport. Nothing wrong with a bit of friendly rivalry there. Like you said, Nabby's there in the red. Nigel's Jim there in the blue. This is going to be an absolute banger. Shane Feck in the red against Simon Watkins there in the blue. As we get ready for three twos, David Craig calling the action round one. Shane Feck there. High guard coming out. Oh, nice uh, double, double hooks there from both sides. Again, Southpaw versus Orthodox. We've seen a bit of... Uh, Continuity of that tonight, a Southpaw yeah, Orthodox a bit, style bit, fight. Bit of a trend. Actually, an easier fight to referee. There's no blind side. Unless you get on the blind side. Hopefully, David Craig doesn't get, get there tonight. He's calling the action from a, a good v viewpoint from what we can see. The crowd are really getting behind this tonight, too. Both boys are uh, a bit more activity than other oh, heavyweights, but uh, they're still holding that guy high, the guard high as well. Yeah, and good skill level. They're throwing the necessary punches at the right time, the right punches at the right time, and good guard, good foot movement, knowing when to block, when to punch. So this is high, high school level. Simon Watkins there in the blue. Jabbing out there with the left. Simon's got the reach advantage but with the height. And seems to be using it quite well. Yeah, just chasing, chasing yeah. down the prey there. Like uh, Shane Fick, though, you know, he, it, being the shorty, he still has to get in the pocket and be more aggressive, and that's exactly what he's doing in this fight. And Simon's throwing the straighter punches, which is um, keeping his opponent at bay. Like you said, to that southpaw style, he'll jab out the right and then quickly follow up with the left hook. Oh, big uh, threw a right hook in that one. Just missed. 20 seconds to go, and the boys have got their distance and starting to throw punches very wild brawl style there from Shane Fick but it can always do the damage can't it John it can with a taller fighter walking him down there Simon Watkins Ooh. but it comes back Shane the both boys thrown down in the final big left there just hitting the dome of uh, Simon Watkins to finish the round well that, he could have stole that round that was a good flurry at the end that's a hard round to score going to try to score that one. I just enjoy that fight. Yeah, but I know that there'll be a bit of a headache <laughs> already from uh, both of these boys uh, tomorrow morning. Yeah, Simon had a really good start in that round. A really good start. 
Shane came back really strong and towards the end of the round, so hard, hard round to judge. As we've seen too, whenever we see a shorter versus taller, the, the shorter has to be the more aggressive because he can't rely on his reach. No. He can't rely on uh, trying to outbox the opponent unless he is a, a skillful boxer, but he just has to get in the pocket and close it down and be aggressive. Yeah, you've got to be able to slip punches, have your guard up high, slip, and once you're inside, you know where you are and unload with the correct punches and either stay in or get completely out. Look, look at Simon uh, Watkins. He's, he's ready to up. go. He's ready to go. So Shane's sitting down, getting uh, or sucking in that air as much as he can, but Simon Watkins is ready to rock and roll. And here we go. Round two. That step forward style, you know, he's in and out weaving, trying to get through there, Shane Fick. Whoa, big right there from yeah. Shane Fick landing there on the, uh, the head of uh, Simon. The crowd are loving this. You know, we're halfway through. We're getting close to the halfway mark. And what a night of action it's been so far, John. Yes, all leading up to the main fight. Waikato Warriors returns to New Zealand in the fight scene. Looking forward to that fight. It's certainly going to be a blockbuster, blockbuster fight. But on our hands right now, we've got Shane Fick there in the red. Certainly creating a bit of trouble here for Simon Watkins in the blue. Yeah, Simon seemed to have left his jab behind him. He was very successful with the jab in the early part of this fight. Um, but he needs to get back to that jab. Oh, boy, right Now look at those uppercuts going yeah. all over the show. Got the whole weight behind those punches. One of those that landed. It could have been uh, Goodnight Nurse. Both boys uh, certainly showing a lot of volume, you know, throwing punches and, and bunches. And that can certainly wear you out when you're a bit more of a heavier weight. Yeah. Big uppercut right. Oh, followed again with another cup uppercut oh, right from good, Simon. Yeah, Simon's landing good punches now. Because I think Shane's getting a little bit fatigued, so he's getting a bit sloppy. Seem to just sort of yes, take a bit of a yeah, back foot um, yes. fumbled step. Big shots from both boys. Take nothing away from si uh, sorry Shane Fick. Because you know, John, if getting hit by those sledgehammer type shots from Simon will probably knock the wind out of anyone. Yes. Simon's landing quite well. There's, this is a good round for Simon. Big he right. Keeps landing. Oh, this is just punishing here from Simon. He's just chasing him down. And this, we've got, to, we've got to remember for those at home, it might look like a slow punch, but it's that weight behind it. Yeah, it's a heavy-handed punch. And the crowd are going crazy. You can see Simon Watkins pumping them up. He's probably got his whole family and friends here tonight watching and support. Yeah, he, he is a local guy. He's Nigel's boy, and this is Nigel's show. Half the crowd are probably... Uh, back in Simon Watkins and after this performance I can as soon as he wild because look at Shane there you know he's uh, he's sprawled out there in the chair he looks fatigued and who wouldn't be after you know the activity and then and volume from both these guys it's, uh, as we go into round number three coach there probably screaming commands come on you need to get up got to pump it up yep. get it in his face leave it out there And what are your thoughts, too, on sitting between rounds? John? Are, you, are you a stander or are you a sitter? Uh, sitting's all right. Sitting's fine. No sort of psychological warfare in that aspect. If you need to sit, you need to sit. If uh, you stand, you stand. No, because sooner or later you will have to sit. And then your opponent sees you sitting after you've been standing. And they think, oh, he's tired now. So I'd rather really just start off with sitting. Very cool. Now as we go into, as they say, the money round. Shane Fix really going to have to bring it home, really get in that pocket and land some big overhands. Uh, Simon Watkins making it quite difficult from there. It looks like he, he it looks like he's quite comfortable now, quite composed in this fight. Yeah, he looks to be the fitter of the two. He seems very composed. Oh, landing shots at well. He's just landed. Oh, a bit of a spin there from Shane Fick, but just spun into a punch. Yeah, big punches here from Simon. Simon seems to uh, look like he's sort of firing shots at will now. And a oh, well, that oh, was a triple it's uppercut. Like four punch body punches. <laughs> oh, here comes the ref, David Craig. There's a standing out count, and fair enough too. That was, a, as you said, a quadruple uh, uppercut. I yeah. mean, it looked like something out of 
once we're warriors in a bar scene because that was a very unorthodox. Do you teach crip, triple, um, quadruple uppercuts there, John? I may start this. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, take um, jokes aside, it's certainly doing the damage. I mean, anyone yeah. gets caught by four uppercuts ain't going to be uh, in a good way. No. All to the same spot. I think just in a slight repair. Hat off to Shane Feck. What a yeah. warrior he is. I mean, to, to withstand the damage and still be in there and moving as a feat in itself. And uh, look at, and looking at the frame, too, of, of Simon Watkins, he's a big guy. You know, like we said, those shots will mm. be hurting. I think it's just Shane's fitness that's let him down a little bit. He's a little bit tired. Um, but don't, don't take anything away from Simon. He's, he's, he's fought a good fight. He's fighting a good fight. And um, he's staying composed. And everything he throws is hard and, and straight. Yeah, he's a strong lad, and uh, he's certainly been throwing them all down the middle, throwing those shots. I wouldn't want to mess with him uh, in or outside of the ring, the <laughs> local boy, Simon Watkins. Big shot again, almost finishing now, just pushes him into the corner, saying, there you have it, mate. I've, I'm done with you. I've, I've taken this home. Well, the bell's coming, so... So that would be a nice sound for him to hear. He's, he's more fatigued than hurt, really. Exactly, and yeah. a good, good, tr good call on that, John. It's um, take nothing away from Shane, but Simon Watkins just been too strong, too powerful in that sense. And oh, another shot there landing, another uppercut, just flailing these punches away now at uh, Shane Fick and Shane Fick in struggle streak now as he just takes shots at will. Dave Craig steps well. in. It was a good time to hear a bell. Yeah, I mean, like you said, uh, take nothing away from Shane. It could be more of a fatigue thing, but yeah. Simon Watkins, geez, what a powerhouse. Uh, he, he looked good, he looked strong, and he looked skillful. Uh, well done, Nigel's gym. Now, sometimes a, a fighter needs to fight like this to realise, you know what, I've got to hit the road. I've got to get in the gym. I've got yeah. To, yeah, I've got to train. Because uh, the, the will was there, but um, yeah, he perhaps just the fitness wasn't. Yeah, he just fatigued. And you got all the commitments in life with work and family and all that. Sometimes it is hard to train, but yeah, it's got to be done. If you can't do it at night, do it at four in the morning. Born from the words of a former champ himself. As we go to Lieutenant Dan now for the official decision. And a hometown favourite, local boy, Simon Watkins. What a destroyer he was in that fight. And crowd loved it. They loved hearing the local boy win. 